Hi everyone, it's Derek from the iReady podcast here and this is my reaction video to the 5-3 win away against Hamilton today. Fantastic result, really can't take that away from the players today. Uh, we, we dug in deep, um, especially after we went 2-2 and we, we got the result. The obviously concerning point is we, we started off slow once again. Something that was really, really neat to cut out of our game. Uh, we didn't look as if we were, we were you know, we, we hadn't had our porridge in the morning and we needed something to, to get us going. And, you know, we, we paid the price for that earlier on with, with Hamilton going a goal up within five minutes. Uh, it was a really bad clearance from John. The ball bobbled. It was a half-hearted tackle in the box. The, the ball comes out to the Hamilton player uh, and he placed a shot into the bottom uh, corner past the keeper. And in fairness, it was a, a good strike. You can't take that away from the Hamilton attacker, but it was really poor defending from us. Um, we really need to do better. And I don't know if it was because the ball was played kind of in and around the box area. They weren't wanting to put a tackle in just in case the referee gave something, but we need to be putting stronger tackles in that. It was just half-hearted. And less than five minutes later, we, we got a goal back, which was, was good and obviously good to see. Um, Candias uh, flicks the ball uh, to Morelos on the right-hand side. Uh, it was a good takedown by uh, Morelos, but a fortune keeping the ball because I think it did get come off the legs of the Hamilton defender. He got the ball to the touchline, cuts it back to Murphy after some looking up in some great vision. He was waiting free in the box and it was a some uh, a pretty good good strike to put it in. It was a one touch uh, tap in almost. You know, the rest of the game we started to get a wee bit of grippy and we did go two one up uh, on the eighteenth minute from Windass. A uh, bit of a mistake from the keeper as well. He got the ball on the left hand side of the box uh, and he cuts it inside. Then he go went to fake as if he was going back out away, but it was a great piece of skill by Windass taking the ball, cut it inside, hit a rasping shot uh, on the edge of the box. Uh, the keeper did save it um, and then obviously keeper spilled it into the, uh, in his own net maybe a wee bit of fortune but we'll, we'll certainly take it anyway and then four minutes later we another bit of really bad defending um, it was a, a you know good takedown uh, by Templeton he received the ball on the edge of the box it was a great turn and a great shot past Fordingham again you know it was a fantastic shot and great turn you can't take it away from him but we should be closing these players down and not letting them to get the ball in that position in the first place 26 minute though we did go 3-2 up and that's when we really started to take the, the game by the, the scruff of the neck and it was Morelos who scored as well he, uh, the ball was worked down the right by Doherty, squared to the middle to Morelis, uh, then he played it to the left to Murphy who had a shot, great save by the keeper, uh, out to Murphy again but really really great vision by Murphy, he looked up, unselfish, clipped it back into the middle of the box where uh, Morelis was who, who shoots at home. And then on the 34th minute we went 4-2 up uh, with Windass getting his second of the game. Uh, lovely one punt touch pass and this is probably the the, the, the pick of all the goals to be honest today it was shades of uh, the, the Dortmund goal we scored I've been told to sit down by my mates after that one but uh, certainly one touch passing all the way up from our own box ending with uh, Murphy had a sort of back heel uh, into the path of Windass and he had a one touch shot into the back of the net absolutely fantastic goal um, and we rounded off the half, uh, you know, pretty pretty comfortable. Second half, we you know we controlled pretty much the whole game. The only one chance I remember uh, Hamilton having was a mistake from Murphy, where he tried to play it back long uh, to Fodderingham, but it never had enough pace, and it might have held up on the pitch. I'm not too sure. Uh, it was a bad pass back anyway. The Hamilton player got into it, left short at the back, and he had a shot which uh, was was fairly easily saved in the end by. Uh, um, fodering them, um, but you know it's these individual mistakes that are costing us. And in the seventy first minute, uh, Windass rounded out his hat trick. Um, it was a great vision though by by uh, Candias by a th with a throw into Morelis on the right hand side. He looked up, great pass, simple tap in by Windass to, to round out their goals. That was the difference for me this game, uh, certainly once it went 2-2 the players started to knit together, we started to look up, we were playing for each other great vision by the team as well and that's been the big difference we're starting to play as a unit now which which is certainly something that i'd been lacking maybe earlier on the season and certainly all of last season as well we, we are beginning to play like a unit um windass and morelis came off in the 78th minute miller and cummings came on largely ineffectual obviously just given the fact that you know that they're coming on late on at the game um and then 
Goss came off, Halliday came on in the 85th minute, and then in a completely bizarre instant again, um, again Martin getting penalised for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Um, it was that he was deemed to have handballed it in the box. Basically, he slid in to try and get it to stop the the ball getting crossed over. Yes, again it hit his hand, but it was a cross from two yards out. His hands were up anyway. What is he meant to do with his hands? He got a yellow card, and it was a penalty to Hamilton. Completely unjust, and you know that's that's. Tw- twice now and you know my mates told me you know calm down about this but you know these things you know could have an impact at the end of the day uh you, you know you just look at, look back at the season when it was one on goal difference you know that was one goal we won it by these are the type of things that due to bad refereeing decisions cost you and yeah they even out over the course of a season apparently but we seem to be getting penalized with ridiculous decisions like this all the time um but they converted it anyway finished 5-3 um can't really argue with the game though as i said um fantastic performance from the from the the team um going into the game against Hearts now uh, on next Saturday so we'll, we'll be looking for another repeat performance, I know you've got to take these things uh, given the position where Hamilton are, they're sitting second bottom, they haven't won a game in 2018 so far but you know you can only play against you know the team you come up against so can't argue and uh, all good so hopefully me and Dave will have a podcast out maybe later this week um, but we'll see about that it'll be certainly next week if not so Um, Thanks for listening and goodbye.